Hello everyone. Today's new session is about access point. Let's have a quick look at the topics that I'm going to cover in this nugget. First, I will explain what is an access point. Then where are the access point used or in which places are they required? What are the different access point modes? And then what are the physical ports available on the back of the access point? Let's get started. Access points or APs, also known as wireless access points or WAPs, are networking devices that allow wireless devices such as laptops, tabs or mobile phones to connect to a wired network, which includes devices such as servers or printers or for the connectivity to the internet. Devices connected to the AP form a network called as WLANs also known as wireless local area networks. WAP is one of the key components of WLAN architecture. The wireless access points serve as the interconnection between the WLAN and the fixed wired network. An access point acts as a central transmitter and receiver of wireless radio signals. Access points work at the data link layer, that is the layer two of the OSI model. An access point is a networking hardware appliance that can come as an independent device or a standalone unit, capable of being transferred and moved anywhere. It can also be a component of a router, such as your home Wi-Fi router, which includes features such as switch, router, firewall, access point, DACP, and DNS feature. Now we know what the access point is, let's see where the access points are used or required. WAP devices are widely used in the following environments, such as corporate. Corporate organizations use a number of wireless access point devices and attach them to a traditional wired network in order to give wireless access to the office LAN. Within the office setup, users have the advantage of network access coupled with mobility. Access point can handle over 60 simultaneous connections each. Another kind of environment where the access points are widely deployed is hotspot. Hotspots are used for public access to the internet. Wireless devices can access the internet by directly connecting to the network present at these hotspots. Hotspots can be found in areas such as hotels, airports, coffee houses, shopping malls, and so on. Access points are also used at home networks. Home wireless networks use wireless routers uh, in conjunction with broadband modems to provide wireless access within a home environment. Access points are used for a wireless range extender, extending and increasing the wireless coverage of an ex existing network and, are, and for increasing the number of users that can connect to it. Next we have wireless access point modes. The access point can operate in different modes. The wireless network access modes are as follows. Local mode, client mode, sniffer mode, SE connect mode, rogue detector mode, flex connect mode, bridge mode, and monitor mode. Local mode is the default mode and also known as access point mode. In this mode, clients such as laptops, smartphones, tablets can communicate with access point. The next mode we have is client mode. In this mode, access point can connect to another access point as a client. Client mode can be used in a scenario such as, for example, internet of your company is provided by a remote access point. And to get internet from this remote access point to your area, you can use your access point in client mode. Then we have sniffer mode. Sniffer mode is used for troubleshooting activities to monitor and analyze the wireless traffic with various tools like Wireshock. It is a passive monitoring mode. The next mode we have is SE Connect mode, also known as Spectrum Expert Connect mode. In this mode, you can collect information about the RF spectrum of your wireless connection by connecting Cisco X Spectrum Expert. Do keep in mind, a wireless access point operating in SE Connect mode will not be broadcasting an SSID and does not service any WLAN clients. This mode is strictly used for troubleshooting purpose. 
The next mode we have is rogue detector mode. Rogue detector mode is the access point mode that is used to detect rogue devices. This detection is based on the MAC address. The next mode we have is flex connect mode. If you do not want to use a wireless LAN controller at every branch, flex connect mode is the mode that you should use. With this flex connect mode, your access point do not need to connect to WLC always. Even if your connection is lost to WLC, then it continues to switch your traffic locally without WLC. The next mode we have is the bridge mode. In bridge mode, access points are used to connect two separate networks. There are two sub modes coming with bridge modes. There are point to point and point to multi point modes. With point to point bridge mode, we can connect the LAN of a router to a remote access point. With point to multi point bridge mode, we can connect two LANs with one wireless link. And the last mode we have is monitor mode. Monitor mode allows an access point to monitor all traffic received on a wireless channel. The monitor mode works by sniffing the packets in the air without associating or linking with any access point. An access point in monitor mode does not service any wireless clients. A monitor access point mode scans through every configured channel once every 12 seconds. Let's take an example of the, of the back panel of the Cisco Wireless Access Point 351 wireless and dual radio access point. On the left side you will find a power switch to power on or power off the access point. Next to the power switch you will find power adapter port. Next to the power port we have a reset button in case if you want to factory reset it. Then we have five ethernet ports which also includes PoE port. Some access point may also have a single LAN port as shown in the picture. That's it for today's session. In my next session, I'll be discussing about another interesting topic that is on wireless LAN controllers. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you.